Hi guys, today we are going to learn how to display text and basics graphic on a TFT screen using the ESP32. We will be using the Adafruit TFT display, a very popular screen for embedded projects. We will also go over the code step by step so you can understand how to use it in your project. Let's dive in. Here's the setup we will be working with today. An ESP32 board and an ILI9341 TFT display. This display is a 2.8 inch color screen with a resolution of 320 into 240 pixels, which is perfect for many display based projects. The display VCC pin is connected to 3.3 volt on ESP32 and then we have the ground connection. After that the CS pin is connected to pin number 5, RST reset pin connected to pin 4, then the D slash C is connected to pin 16. After that the MOSI pin is connected to pin 23, clock pin is connected to pin 18 and finally we have the MISO pin connected to pin 19 of the ESP32. Now let's open up the code to see what we are doing here. First we will start by importing the necessary libraries. SPI. This library handles communication between the ESP32 and the TFT display. Adafruit underscore GFX. This is a common library for graphics on various display, including the ILI9341. Then we have the Adafruit ILI9341. This provides uh, all the specific function to control the screen. Here, the CS pin. RST pin and DC represent a chip select, reset and data or command pin for the display. This pin allows us to control the screen from the ESP32. Now we create an object to interface with the screen. This line of code initialize the screen using the pins we defined earlier. In the setup function, we configure the serial communication for debugging and initialize the TFT display. We start serial communication at a baud rate of 115200 and adds a brief delay of 2 seconds for the serial monitor to open up. TFT.begin initialize the TFT display. Set rotation, set the rotation of the screen to landscape mode horizontal view. Fill screen fills the entire screen with a white background color. Now let's add some text and graphic. This is the header box. This create a light blue header box at the top of the screen. We set the text size to 2 and the color to white. We also position the cursor at 10, 10 and display the text ESP32 TFT display. Display static message. We draw a light green box in the middle of the screen. Set the text size to 3 and display the message hello world. We add another line of text inside a light gray light scan box with the message ESP32 rocks. Then finally we have the smaller text. This display another line of smaller text inside a light yellow box that says this is cool. We also add a simple bo black border around the screen for a neat visual effect. TFT dot draw rectangle. This draw a rectangle at the edge of the screen, which is in black color. Finally, in the loop function, we don't need to do anything because the text is static and does not change over time. That's it. Now we will uh, run the simulation and you can see the TFT display shows all of the message 
which uh, we used in the code. Now we have successfully connected your ESP32 to the TFT display using the correct pins. So now see you in the next lecture. Happy building.